We were contacted by the homeowner. She was having a couple issues with her shower. Uh, let's see what we got going on. It looks nice. The tile was set fairly well from outside appearances. All the problems with this one is underneath with all the waterproofing and the prep stage. Tile and grout are not waterproof. Topical liquid waterproofing has to be put onto a certain mill gauge. Manufacturers provide a liquid mill gauge to measure while you're putting on so you put it on the proper thickness. If it's not put on the proper thickness, it is not waterproof. See here by these pictures, it appears that there's only one coat used because we can see brush marks and incomplete waterproofing. It needs to be the entire wall connected to the drain. So when you look at these pictures coming up, you'll see that just the corners were done on all the vertical joints. They didn't do the entire wall. So the corner here, corner here, just around the box was only waterproof. Well, that doesn't deal with the water that can get between it where the waterproofing ends and it goes to the cement board. Plus they have no vapor barrier behind the cement board to stop what water does get in there from going into the inside the wall cavity. So that's a very bad thing. Secondly, they took the topical waterproofing and put it on top of the mud bed, which actually makes the problem worse. That creates what's called a moisture sandwich. So she said she has a lot of mold building up in her corners. Previous contractor just shoved a bunch of grout in there. It wasn't 100% silicone like it should be. She had a lot of cracking. So like the water was getting in there. It was just sitting there and had nowhere to get out. So they came back and they tried to put some white silicone on top of the grout, which never works out. Over here at the shower curb, they attached the cement board through the liner with cement board screws. This curb has penetrations in the front to hold the cement board and on top to hold the cement board. That is against plumbing code. So you have screws going through the rubber liner to attach the cement board. Screws through the liner are potential leaks. So essentially what it appears like it looked like they were doing is they're trying to mix a topical waterproofing system with a water in water out system. So a water in water out system, the way it works is you have all your membranes underneath everything. You have a sloped pan with a rubber liner on the sloped pan, and then you have a vapor barrier on the walls draped over in front of the liner. So that way, whenever water gets in behind everything, it has a way to get down to the shower pan without getting behind it, hits the shower pan, which is now sloped, not sitting flat on the floor, and it makes its way down to the weep holes that are in the three-piece clamping drain. Those weep holes have to be kept clear and free of any obstruction. No mortar can get in there. No silicone can get in there. If any of those things happen, it's going to fail because there's no way to attach the topical waterproofing on the mud bed to a non-bonding flange drain. They have a three-piece clamping drain. All the waterproofing is done in the sub layers underneath everything. So what ends up happening is water gets in between where they terminated at the drain cover. Water gets in between the two layers and starts moving from wet to dry. So then and now it can also back up and come all the way underneath the curb and get behind all the topical waterproofing because it wasn't done as a complete system. So instead of trying to mix systems, the solution is to use a bonding flange drain. You pick one system. So when you do a topical, you do all your sub layers, your slope layers, your cement boards, foam boards, whatever one you use, you do those first. Then you take your topical membrane, install it to manufacturer specifications of the proper thickness if you're using a liquid, or a sheet membrane, which we prefer. When you use a bonding flange drain, you can connect it to the drain as a waterproof connection. It's very difficult to do that with a three-piece clamping drain. There are adapters on the market that allow you to do that. And based on the pictures that we can see, it doesn't look like they use the three-piece clamping drain adapter. The framing for this niche from the pictures from the homeowner, it looks like it's about two feet on center in a couple spots. Cement board is only rated for 16 on center maximum. A lot of the issues with this shower is just simply not following manufacturer's installation instructions.